All right, there's another Democratic candidate for president. He's a mayor in Florida, and his city is on fire right now. The mayor of Miramar, Florida, the 13th largest city uh, in Florida. And uh, again, uh, it, it, it's driving in business left and right. And with that background, he wants to take a stab at doing something the other candidates, at least in the race that he sees, he argues cannot do. Wayne Messon joins us right now, well, a 44 years old, a former football star, and now ready to uh, maybe take a pounce at the presidency. Mayor, very good to have you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Um, why are you doing this? You must have looked at the field and said, boy, that, that's a pretty crowded field. They got some impressive names in there uh, outside of your, your, your city and state. You're not nearly as well known. What are you thinking? Well, you know, um, as a candidate um, for the president of the United States, I think what we're doing in the city of Miramar in South Florida, which has more Fortune 500 companies than any city in the uh, tri-county area, um, and as a business owner uh, myself, I think I bring a, a fresh and a unique perspective as a, in terms of being a mayor in a city, uh, a mayor that has um, taken jobs and manufacturing away from China, while other cities are actually losing jobs and manufacturing to China. So I think we'll be able to bring a, a unique perspective um, that's uh, different and uh, draws a contrast between the candidates that are running um, to restore the American dream um, for Americans across this country. Are you, um, I know one of the, your big issues is college debt. It's a big, it, it's a big drag on, on, on younger Americans, and, and you hope to address that. Many in, who are running for the Democratic nomination, Mayor, have been saying maybe the federal government should step in and forgive that debt. Um, how do you feel? Well, I think I'm the only one who actually um, has come out to say that um, because of the $1.5 trillion in debt that's owed, it's not just young people. It's mothers, it's grandmothers, fathers, um, uh, working professionals that have tens of thousands or even over $100,000 in outstanding student loan debt that's um, crippling our economy, is stifling um, financial mobility um, for it, the average Mayor? American. Would you forgive Some of your yes, colleagues I would have said forgive it. On Saturday, I would uh, propose a, uh, a plan that looks at um, forgiving and wiping out that outstanding debt. All right, but how would you pay for that? Well, obviously, um, when you contemplate the um, recent um, tax cuts to um, corporations and the richest of Americans, that's um, you contemplate the nearly two trillion dollars in, in that tax break. Um, it's it uh, not only is enough to cover that, but what it will do is um, spur the ability for Americans to be able to invest in homes and property, invest in businesses, um, to do the that things that they can't normally do. Taxes, mayor, that uh, to pay off or to address this college debt thing. Um, that would spur investment? Hey, listen, uh, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner, and, and I like to make money and like to make a profit. Uh, but yet, you know, I'm a, a mayor that passed a living wage in our city. Um, we're all in the same boat. And I think when we all um, carry our weight and, and, and work together as a nation, we're stronger as a nation. We look at our highway system. No one is saying that, yes, we have to invest in our infrastructure and our roadways. There's just certain things that we have to work together. And as a business owner, I know what it means to struggle to start a business from scratch, to make payroll. And these are the discussions and topics I, I look forward to um, debating about with my colleagues on the Democratic side. But to Americans in general, you can be a responsible business and know that you can make profits while while understanding that we're still all in the same boat and we're stronger together as a nation. And I'm willing to be the champion to bring these issues to this debate. All right, just to be clear, though, on the tax thing there, then you would take the corporate taxes, which were cut down to 21 percent for around 35 percent, you would raise them back to where they were? I would look at repealing some of the tax um, that's giving back to the corporations and the richest of Americans. Because what has been proven is that the thought process is that businesses will, will have these tax breaks and put it back into the hands of Americans. But when you look at that, wages aren't increasing. Um, average Americans don't have access to health care. Well, it's increasing. just living They're proof that we're not rate. getting were, the they, money. Is, but those wages we're are not investing in American more people. Than they were, right? Would you give the president any credit? for the record low unemployment rates, the record high employment rates for African Americans and Hispanics and women and what have you. Do you think anything he has done has, has made that possible? 
What I will say is that um, the economy has been enjoying a ride since President Obama. I think that um, in terms of stability of our economy, I think, again, I will say that when we're all working together as a nation, but this recovery we can is have on responsible Obama, reform and taxes. Trump. While be able, while while also being able to um, allow businesses to be profitable, okay. to make the investments where they need to make, as well as being able to make sure that that dollars are going back to the American people, who are the engine that fuels this economy. Okay, so real quickly, just to understand, you say this recovery that's going on and the surge in the market, what have you, that's a Barack Obama phenomenon. It's not Donald Trump in the last couple of years having anything to do with it. Well, you know, I think the premise of your question is not to give President Obama his credit. So I think that when you look at no, the no, reforms, far from it, far from it. I think I think I've routinely given him credit for the surge after 2009. Okay, okay. But, but uh, you don't want to. Uh, just to be clear, you don't see anything this president has done with the tax cuts and lower regulations to to to, to account for the activity we're seeing. What I'm saying is that the economy and is not working for the American people. When people do not have to work two and three jobs to make ends meet, the economy isn't working for Americans. When people have to make choices in regards to whether they pay their prescription medicine or to eat, it just shows that the system is broken. And I'm saying when we all work together and all realize that we are all in the same boat, that this country can thrive and we can be right. the leaders that we've always been. Okay, Mayor, thank you. You're one to watch. People are watching. You got 86% of the vote in your last run. That's not too shabby. We'll keep an eye on you. Thank you, sir, for taking the time. Thanks for having me.